brick and mortar buildings are the foundation of construction. And while some may say it's a dying trade, Fred Campbell of Greenville has proved the opposite. He sure has. He's actually known under the title as the world's best bricklayer, and he plans to defend that title this summer. News Channel 11's Kelly Grossfield gives us an inside look at masonry and has Campbell's story. In the world of bricklaying, the SpecMix Bricklayer 500 is it. And Greenville native Fred Campbell is trying to break his own record and go for his fourth world championship. At just 10 years old, Fred Campbell picked up the trade of masonry, laying brick, eventually taking over the family business. But times have changed over the years. Every building you see is brick or block, and a lot of the newer ones are brick and block. And it's been a family business handed down through generations. And it's kind of getting to be a dying trade now. It's hard to find guys that get into it. But about 10 years ago, Campbell discovered the SpecMix Bricklayer 500, a fun, fast-paced showcase of what the world of masonry has to offer. It's just as fast as you can lay for one hour, and then they judge it as a sellable wall. It's always been a way to get people energized about the industry. It's always been a, a workforce development tool. Campbell holds world titles for 2013, 2015 and 2020. He's hopeful he'll grab 2021 as well. But as far as 2022, he said that's unlikely. This is going to be my last time. I'm going to retire from doing it after this year. So yeah, there's a lot on the line for me this year. After following his work for years, the folks at SpecMix say it will be sad to see him go. He's a tremendous ambassador, not just for the event, but for masonry as well. I know he's definitely taken this opportunity to be on the national stage to then go back into his community and really get uh, another generation of young Masons excited. But as one leaves, hopefully more will come. After all, these competitions were created to expose the trade to those who may not know about it otherwise. The biggest thing about it is it draws in the younger generations, gets them thinking about a career in Masonry. That championship will be taking place on June 9th in Las Vegas, and it will be live streamed for all to see and support Fred Campbell. Reporting in Johnson City, Kelly Grossfield, News Channel 11.